Point differentiation. So, so important. In tennis, 1873, Sir Walter Clapton Wingfield, the official rules of tennis were set. The scoring system was put in place. The scoring system was put in place to confuse the commoners, to keep the sport for the elite. I think we're still confused in comparison to other sports. You're watching basketball, your team's down by 20. You're watching football, your team's down by two touchdowns. You're playing golf, um, hopefully someone else is playing golf and you're playing tennis, with, uh, you, you're hitting a double bogey. You're two over par on the first hole. You carry that the rest of the round, the rest of the tournament. Well, the scoring system is so close. You know, sometimes kids, uh, you know, they lose so many comments on scoring. They lose 6-2, 6-1, and they can't tell people I lost 6-2, 6-1. They go, ah, I can't remember. They, they can remember, trust me. Another thing with uh, the scoring is we want to know the point differentiation. I don't really like to hear parents uh, supporting their child and say, well, it was much closer, every game went to deuce. I like to have a chart that I know how many games out of the total number of games went to deuce. Certainly you can tell the length of the match by how long the match was played. But with point differentiation, it's close. Generally, 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 it's very, very close. Um, not this year, but last year going to the U.S. Open, for example, Nadal and Federer were locked at 55%, 55 five point such and such, 55 point such and such, of total points won, not against each other, but against everybody they played on the AT ATP Tour for eight months. Sampras and Agassi, the rivalry, one player's at 55%. Say, for example, uh, Sampras was at 55%. Say, for example, 100 points are played, one player wins 60, the other player wins 40. So you just, you have to do some chalk talks. You have to get in a room like this where you have a board and say, okay, well, let me write 60 and let me write 40. I'm going to write 60 and then I'm going to write 59, 58, 57. And then over here, I'm going to write 40, 41, 42. And I'm going to show the kid they've got to fight for points. I don't really like it when people say, well, I didn't win the big points. Big points are important, but you got to win points. And when, when it's over, you need to know where you lost points and where you won points. And we've talked about patterns, but point differentiation, um, again, it's just something that's so, so important to chart. Point differentiation.